Good morning and welcome to Morning Mom Moments. Uh, we have been talking uh, lately about vindication and I have somebody else from vindication with several pe people on from vindication lately. Jared O'Flaherty is a producer, director, showrunner. I like that title, showrunner. And uh, we've asked him to be on this morning to tell, ask us what, what, he do, what he does and why does he do it. Jared, welcome. Thank, thank you for coming on. Yes, well, good morning, Andy, and appreciate all the work you've been doing creating a channel and outlet for those uh, in the arts, especially the people that I know from Vindication, and giving them a chance to speak their heart and share it. Thank you. So why, why do you do what you do, and what do you do? You're a showrunner is what you told me, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that's a pretty term for you wear lots and lots of hats, you know, um, that, that you do anything that needs to be done that someone else is not already doing. So that's what I do. But yeah, I, you know, the, the bulk of my work for the last couple of years has been on a streaming series called Vindication. Uh, it's a faith-based crime drama series, kind of of a unique idea that has not been done much. Uh, we were fortunate to do a, a first season, uh, release it, and then about a year or so later, I got the green light to do a second season. And I'm on the very tail end of wrapping that up and releasing it. Um, probably around the time that people are seeing this. Um, so that is what I am doing. Why I've been doing that? Well, from a young age, I enjoyed uh, playing with the video camera, you know, and, and telling stories. I can't say it was anything that I chased after or tried to create. It was just something that naturally I wanted to do and found, found it entertaining. I have videos for me when I was very young, between five and 10 years old, of just, you know, telling stories and, and doing things. So it was something I was always interested in. And uh, in my adult years, uh, you know, really because of technology becoming more affordable, high quality technology, uh, the Lord created a route for me to get into narrative uh, storytelling and filmmaking. And so, you know, why I've done it, it's kind of like it's the path that God laid before me, if that, that makes sense. You know, uh, if he had gifted me in other areas or had sent me down other paths, I might be doing something different. But this is the one that through a lot of, I call it divinely inspired uh, circumstances, uh, it's where I've ended up and, and I'll keep doing it uh, as long as, as it is, you know, feels like what he wants me to be doing. It's, you know, it's just amazing how God can orchestrate things. I, I tell people I'm not smart enough to figure this all out. It's just amazing how God puts the right people in the right place at the right time as we depend on him and we're right where we should be. Um, it is just amazing how, how things work that, and we get credit for it many times, but it's uh, really waiting on God just to make sure that uh, we're, we're following what he wants us to do. Yeah, absolutely. I've certainly seen that play out with Vindication. Yeah. Uh, I've talked to several of your actors and actresses that, that is on it. Uh, and there is a theme that they talk about is, is the spirit in which behind the scenes folks are, are uh, sharing just uh, amongst each other and giving strength to each other, even uh, when they're not in front of the camera. And that's a great, great uh, sound to be able to hear that that's taking place, isn't it? Yeah, I'm happy to know that that's happening. I usually hear about those stories on uh, interviews like this, because when I'm on set, I'm so busy getting things done, focused on, on, on accomplishing what we need to do that day and watching the clock. I'm just so focused on that, that I don't get to have those, you know, side room conversations and, and some of those other things that happen. So when I hear about those on shows like this, it, it's really encouraging to know that's happening. And, and I like to think that that is something that filters from the top down, you know, uh, if people are barking at each other and, and the stress level is at a maximum, I don't think those I don't think it creates an environment for those type of situations to pop up, you know, so it does trickle down from the top, uh, I would think, and that's not saying that I'm at the top, but God's above me. And it, when he puts me at ease, then things, uh, you know, when things go well, then that just trickles down to where those type of conversations happen. I, I will say one thing that I do notice uh, about it is there, there's a handful of cast and crew that we work with. I, I don't have a litmus test that you have to be a believer to work on vindication. Uh, if you can do the job with a good attitude and do it well, then I, I'm happy to work with you. I think it's a great mission field. And I love building relationships with people and showing them what, what a Christian's like, not what they're 
television or social media feed tells them a Christian is, but so that they can see it played out in real life. But I've had a handful of people that when I brought them in, uh, you would never hear or see anything from them related to faith, period. You know, uh, there's no praying hands emoji. There's no, I mean, it's just nothing. There's nothing, right? It's a wasteland. It's, it's a desert. And then they work with us. And then a few weeks later, a couple months later, I see things start getting posted, getting shared. They're talking about stuff. And it's like, two months ago, that was not a part of their life. So I can't help but think that seeds are being planted and that God uses our set and our environment and vindication to uh, help do some of his, his work in people's lives. You know, I've heard so many actors and actresses talking about the struggle they have being on faith-based uh, films and TV uh, shows and uh, secular or non-faith-based films. And there's value to each one of them because sometimes the person who's not faith-based may be on your film and they see the influence of Christ. And other times they're, they're the ones that they're, there are Christians and taking being the influence on that other film. That's non non faith faith-based and bringing a light to that darkness. Yeah, absolutely. I can say that even though I've done now 20 episodes of vindication, I, have never been on another film set that I wasn't in, in in this position. So I really don't know what goes on on other sets. I've heard the stories, uh, but I haven't seen it. And, and, you know, it is great to hear that they can go to those other sets and have the same influence that maybe bringing outsiders into our sets uh, has just in the inverse. Well, I could tell you that Vindication is a binge watching worthy a series and uh it, once you start season one make sure you got every of all of them together to watch them and if you haven't watched season one and uh it just leads you to the next uh the next waiting for the next episode to take place and i have been uh as patient as I could waiting for season two to hit. And I can't wait till, till, uh, till it hits and uh, I'm able to watch it by the time of this airing, it'll be started and I'll probably watch everything you have out. But right now I'm, I'm, I'm just like the rest of the world waiting for that, that, that time when I hear I can get to start watching season two. It's a great compliment when someone shares with you that they sat down to check it out, you know, to watch an episode or two, maybe they only had an hour of free time. And then five hours later, they're finally finishing up the final episode because they got hooked. I mean, what a great compliment, you know, uh, we probably all watch things that we didn't know if we were going to get through it because it's like, okay, I started this, let me try to finish it. Uh, but to have people that sat down without the intention of watching it and then go all the way through it, it's a great compliment. Yeah, it really is. And you never know what real the what what area in the story is going to affect the, the, a different person, and it could be the struggle they have. That's the same character that you're showing on on your show. It may not be the same profession. It may not be a law officer or 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 uh, um, somebody in the court system, but they may have some of the same struggles. And to hear that other people are struggling uh, with the day-to-day -day life experiences, it's nice to hear that and, and see how they do uh, with the struggles, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it almost comforting or eye-opening sometimes when you think that you're the only person dealing with something or going with some, or going through something, and then if it pops up in a in a show or in something, you go, oh wait. Well, if someone wrote this and these people are acting it out, then this really happens. It's not just me, you know, or, or, you know, if, if you're involved in a, in a church group and someone's sharing uh, about a, a situation they're in a struggle or whatever, and you realize, oh, wait, you have a family member like that too. I thought I was the only person dealing with a family member like that, you know, and it, it helps. It, it can be comforting. It can also help point you to solutions or the truth. So yeah, it, it's neat that in our stories that we, we, it's not the same story every week, each episode, you get something a little bit new so that you have those moments of connecting and, and uh, you know, realizing that, Hey, this is similar to uh, something I can relate with. Well, I do appreciate your your time and effort and and your focus on uh, making sure that the story is being given. And it's the story that changes lives. And as we listen to the story, uh, I think of Jesus being the storyteller, how he just 
would just say, come disciples, let me tell you about these seeds. Let me tell you about, and he would talk about the story, the, the good, the, the, the good Samaritan. And he would tell the story and he'd draw the people and people are still drawn in by the story. And the story often can drive us to, to the goodness and the knowledge of Christ. And that's really important, isn't it? Yeah, it's not, storytelling is almost a, a gift that was given to us by God to be able to relate ideas in a more, uh, you know, memorable, whatever type of fashion. It's just, it's just amazing that Jesus chose that tool when he was doing his ministry of storytelling. So it's something that you take that out. If stories were, were not interesting, you know, I think that's what keeps us hooked. We always want to hear how it ends or yeah. what's next, or we want to try to guess it. There's just something built into us as people that we want to hear what happens next in that story. And, and obviously uh, with Jesus using it in parables and, and others, uh, it it's, can have a profound impact. Uh, Jared, I want to thank you so much for, for coming on uh, this morning. I'm going to put uh, connections down below in the comment section so people can can get a hold of, see what not only what credits you've done, but what you're working on in the future, but also uh, how, to get, how to get in touch and how to watch Vindication. If you haven't watched it, be, be sure to get in there and, and find those sources. There are many different sources, Pure Flix and other sources to, to, to watch Vindication. And uh, so that you could get hooked on it like I have, and so you could really enjoy it. Uh, more important than, than any of that, I, I want my audience to be praying for Jared and the crew of Vindication, that they will continue to be a cohesive unit and bring about the work that God has for them uh, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you so much, Jared, for, for taking the time today. Yes, thank you, Andy. Thanks for having some of my vindicators. That's what I call them, the people that work with us. Uh, they're the vindicators. The fans are vindies, the vindicators. That's like the inner circle. But thanks for giving so many of them a platform to share uh, what God's done in their life. We appreciate you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you all for joining us for Morning Moments and keep coming back. <laughs>